Hello fellow sob addicts. Thought I'd just share a bit on my boost gauge. Uh, the charge pipe actually came from my parts car. I didn't have the bung welded on here with the compression fitting. And the boost gauge was actually previously installed on my parts car. But you can see the airline. I was lazy. I paid $800, $800 for this car, so I just ran my airline up along the fender side of the hood cut a notch where it could kind of fit through the weather stripping and uh, up into the dash. There's the gauge and I have the wire coming down. Into the fuse panel. Now mine is always lit. I imagine if you did not want yours lit all the time, you could probably use utilize like a light circuit or something. So it is an Equus boost gauge. Works very well with my setup here. Um, it's accurate. My car has 10 pounds programmed because it's a base model B204L, and uh, really only get 10 pounds at full throttle, but I do get it which says my uh, boost pressure controller is still working well. If you look below it, you can see the uh, air lines and power lines for the light. Um, if you're at low engine RPM, but high load, like going up a hill and you're not upshifting when you should be, the, the needle will actually kind of uh, flutter or buzz almost. Um, I kind of half suspect that what you're seeing there when it does that in that condition, since you're not really fully spooled or hardly spooling, you're seeing uh, probably engine pulses from either each cylinder or pairs of cylinders. Uh, but yeah, plenty accurate. A lot of people seem to have complained about this. This is the cheap uh, AutoZone brand, but uh, seems to work great for me. Other inside things I've done on the car. Uh, as you can see, I have the manual climate control. My knob broke off. I'd like to get a new knob just so I don't have the annoying light sticking out. But my fan switch doesn't work. Now, if you take that whole MCC panel out and take kind of take things apart, the uh, fan switch has a bunch of contacts in it, and those correspond with the plug. And uh, depending on which switch setting you're on, uh, controls the fan speed. Now, the casing of my uh, manual climate control is all cracked and shit, so, uh, sorry about the language, but, uh, yeah, it's, my uh, MCC is fairly cracked throughout, and because of which, the uh, switch stopped working, so instead, I just took a spare heated seat switch and hardwired it to the third fan speed, which I found using just a simple jumper wire uh, in the harness plug when you take that MCC out. Uh, now, of course, this is also broken, so what I've done actually is I just pulled the uh, blender cable right off of it, fed it through, and uh, that is uh, hot. Of course, you don't have to have it all the way. That's a little bit, but uh, yeah, all the way in is uh, cool. I kind of actually like that better than the uh, knob. It seems to be more reliable. That knob just... I don't know, probably my blunder door is getting a little old and stiff. So that knob and the, the, the plastic parts don't seem to hold up. The other thing, I do keep my boot off. Unfortunately, I've had to for a while. Just to keep an eye on my uh, shifter lock ring here. There's a few little uh, notches there. And uh, there's sort of spiraled tabs on that lock ring, and it turns into place, holds the ball of the shifter in, and there's a spring that holds tension on it. Mine is kind of broken, and sometimes it'll kind of pop out of place. I actually just had to reset it today, but it does pretty well work most of the time, and I haven't had to change the uh, shifter body or anything else out to uh, replace that part. I'm sure that would be really annoying. Uh, but yeah, works well enough. Clearly I have to uh, clean and vacuum my car. We live in the country though, so lots of dust and debris.
Eventually, at some point, I uh, would like to fix my auxiliary. I uh, just have a headphone jack at the end of this, and it's soldered into the radio circuit, so I have an auxiliary input. Uh, it works nicely. Um, I have to fix it. One of the wires or more shorted out or came off that circuit board. So, Anyway, that is uh, today. Boost gauge, couple simple odd funny broke repairs, because that is the name of the channel after all. And uh, happy boost season everyone. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Appreciate all that. Happy sobbing.